And welcome back to Resident Evil, guys, where we last left off. We just uh, did a little bit of uh, action with Ada. We've got ourselves the final key. And ooh, run, 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 run. Oh, God. Oh, you son of a bitch. Luckily, that didn't poison us. Yeah, so we have everything we need now to finish off the police precinct. Which is pretty nice. Hopefully we can go into the armory and get some goodies. Because uh, we're looking a little bit worse for wear when it comes to ammo. But we're about to uh, get a nice little boost, shall we say. And I'm really torn on using the uh, submachine gun. But I don't think we really need to use it. But... It's, I don't know, man, it's... Ah, uh, we got dogs. We got dogs. We're going to stay away from the dogs, although we can't because apparently the hitbox for that car is fucking massive. Okay. Yeah. Ah, hmm. So torn on using the SMG. I hate the way it knocks your ranks down. I really do. So silly. Um, oh, still just really still just zombies. I find that so um, that's so strange to me. But hey, whatever. Right. Well, I mean, we've got a green herb in here. I think there's also a map, if I'm remembering this correctly, and we also have that puzzle. Oh, look. There's actually some handgun bullets there as well, which, uh, I mean, I'm sure, I guess. Why not? Right, so what do we want here? Uh, yeah, 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 we know, we know. We want an up. And we want a down. And we want an up. And we want a down. And one more up. There we go. Power supply is okay. Excellent. Now, lucky for us, Claire was in a pretty good mood. And bless her, she just decided to leave everything for Leon last time round. Unless I've loaded the wrong save and... Uh, get out of here, sir. Oh, God. I think I loaded the right save. I guess we're about to find out. Isn't this full of liquors now? Maybe. Yes. Yes, it is. I think there's two in here. No? Oh, yeah, there's two. Okay, there's one down. Oh, God, we're empty. Shit. Rookie mistake. You're going to take three because you're a greedy fuck. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, no, that's okay. We'll take the red card key anyway. That's what we came here for. Damn, liquors are... You know, liquors are such a joke in this one. In the remake, liquors really didn't fuck around. Liquors were so unbelievably savage. Um... Whereas in this one, man, liquors kind of suck. Uh, yeah, we know. Can we just use the keycard, please? Ah, uh, thank you. Beep. Lovely. Now, let's have at it. There should be two boxes of shotgun shells in here, I think. And some handgun ammo. Oh. I guess not. I guess it's uh, magnum rounds. And two boxes of handgun ammo. Uh, sure, I mean, I guess. No point in not taking it. Uh, we will take the magnum rounds. Yes, please. Eight fat bastard magnum rounds. And, of course, yes, this is the right save I loaded. I actually panicked there a little bit. Right, we'll have the side pack. And we'll have the machine gun. Now, whether we're going to use the machine gun or not, I haven't 
decided yet. Uh, it's look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this inventory space. It's ludicrous. I mean, I guess this will solve our ammo problem. Although, being Resident Evil 2, our ammo problem will solve itself. Especially as we get further into the game. And start fighting our bestie. Right, let's go back upstairs. I guess we are done here. Now we have a couple of rooms to use the uh, ace, ace... Why do I say ace key? The club key on. Oh, zombies. Well, uh, hello there, gentlemen. Oh, dear. That's not good. I can't actually see. Right, you're gone. Oh, I can't believe we've got to do this. Okay, that was not too bad. That was acceptable. Now, I don't think there's any enemies in here, but I think there's more Magnum bullets. Uh, is there anything in these lockers? Yes, there is. Ooh, come to Papa. I thought there was. I guess it was just in the first mode. There wasn't. Yeah, he doesn't have anything for us, but we'll take his diary. Night Watchman, and we'll take the Magnum Rounds, because, hey, Magnum Rounds, man. So, we've got 24 Magnum Rounds, if you include what's in the gun. Which isn't too shabby. That's certainly enough to uh, upset T-00. But I have the feeling T-00 is pretty much uh, always salty. Can we go for a twofer? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oof, I did wonder if there's going to be uh, in the last Z hanging around the corner. Ready to rip us to shreds. To shreds, you say. Um, now, we've got some options. We, You know, we might as well just go this way through. And I think because I enjoy it and it's fun, we are just going to use the submachine gun. Submachine gun is fun. And, eh. We're also going to get the handgun back out, I think. Um. Phew, yes. We are kind of out of, of slots. Let's go back to a item room. Jiggle our stuff around. Okay. Now, obviously, like, if we weren't going to fight T-00, which in the actual official strategy guide, it tells you that he's not worth fighting and you can't kill him. It actually says you can't kill him. <laughs> which I can't believe how inaccurate some of these official guides were. Now, some of these guides are actually fairly notorious. For getting information wrong but to actually come out and tell you that there's no point in fighting him because you can't beat him is a little bit silly to be honest uh we will keep that let's take the custom handgun should we go get these done as well i think we should there we go tempted actually to try and take him out with a pistol because, I mean, we potentially could. We could seriously kick him in the box. Now, this is kind of a bit pointless going all the way down here just to develop this role of film. But, uh, why not? In the interest of completion. Completionism. I can't even remember, uh, actually, what this film is. I don't think it's a different film, sadly. And as I remember as a kid, I always used to be like really scared about running back through areas that I'd already completed because I always expected there to be enemies just thrown out at you or, or something different to happen. But of course, 
you know, nothing actually happens. I used to hate waiting, like waiting here, for instance. I would hate to wait in a room too long because I, I just thought something would come out and get me. Obviously, that's not the case. Uh, let's go develop this film. I can't believe I've just like ran all the way back here to develop a piece of film. Like... Why, man? Yes, we know you can develop film here, Leon. Apparently, it's a really quick, easy pro process, too. Ah, it is different. Development code T03. Due to accelerated metabolism relative to earlier double zero series. That's what Mr. X is. Um, this subject possesses extreme uh, exemplary regenerative abilities. Oof. Right, let's get our asses all the way back and go and do the final puzzle. And then we can finally get out of here. And we're really pushing on with this game as well. Uh, is it quicker to go through this way? Maybe. Maybe it is, actually. Quicker to run through this bit. I see no more zombies have spawned, which is fine. Yeah, I'm not looking for... And I say that, I'm not looking forward to Resident Evil 3. I am. I'm really looking forward to Resident Evil 3. What I'm not looking forward to is fighting Nemesis. Because obviously we're going to fight Nemesis. Because we want to get all the cool ammo and shit. And all the cool guns. But Nemesis is a bit of a dick penis man. As I'm sure all of you OG guys know. But, I've said it, I've committed to it, it's going to be difficult. And I'm not sure what costume to play RE3 as either yet. I'm thinking Regina from Dino Crisis, I think that could be fun. Because obviously with the Dreamcast version, you start off with all the costumes unlocked straight away, which, as a kid, that was cool. But thinking about it now, it's kind of a bit lazy, I guess. Do we have everything we need? Yeah, we do. Yes, sir. Yes, we do. All right. Let's go open the door. You have used the precinct key. Yep, chuck that sucker away. Now, I don't know if there's any enemies in here. I guess there is not. There is the cog, which we do want. And, of course, there is the uh, faucets here. Right, let's light this bastard up. I was like, where's the lighter? Where's the lighter? I don't know. Of course, we know where the lighter is. So, was there actually anything here? Totally messed up. No, I don't think there was. And it was this one. And then this one, I think. Yeah. I don't know why I found that so hard when we played as Claire. Oh, no. Guess who's here? Hey, friend. Actually, why wait? Oh, I mean, I guess we've, all, we've just blown our score now anyway. How is that going? Ah, uh, not great. Ouch. Thanks for the bitch slap across the face, you dick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is more than enough to bring him down. It really is. What does he give us? Give us handgun bullets. That's... You bastard. Handgun bullets. You cheeky shit. You give me freaking <sighs> fine. You're not my friend anymore. Handgun bullets. Yes, the wheel's missing, Leon. It's you're you're standing on it, buddy. You you, you actually had to trip over that fucking thing to check. Uh, Leon, you're a dull lad. It's a shame you can't just uh, jump through there. Right. See you later, buddy. Now, is he going to get... Are we going to see a cutscene of him getting up? 
No, I guess not. Let's use the machine gun anyway. I mean, we've used it, so we might as well use it some more. Look at that mess you've made. You really have made quite the mess there, dude. You really have. Ow. Come on, buddy. Drop. 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 There we go. <sighs> yeah, I didn't really want to take any risks with this guy. He only dropped seven shells. I thought when he dropped shells, he dropped 14 of them. God damn it. Yeah, I didn't want to take any risks there because I haven't saved it <laughs> since our first... Um, uh, since the first save, actually. So, gee, I hope nothing goes wrong. Starting to get a bit risky with these saves. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, now, where are we going? I think now we're off to fight William, aren't we? Williams wish Wellingtons. Oh, God, I remember that program. Williams wish Wellingtons. God damn it. Right, let's go back downstairs. Oh, what am I doing? We haven't even... You utter nublet. Ah, get your head out of your ass, Titan. For five minutes. You know what? Push the boat out, mate. Try and take your head out of your ass for half an hour. Let's try and get through uh, one video without doing something stupid. Right. Okay, let's drop by this item box and get healed up. Because we're in a bit of a shitty way, to be honest. And we don't want to be in a shitty way. Um, we should be able to just munch down one herb and that should bring us back up to good. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, just. Yeah, they, they simplified the healing in this game. You don't get, um... Uh, yeah, we'll put those back. Yeah, you don't get the yellow fine that you did in the original game. Uh, we don't really need that. Do we? I mean, we got the space for it, so why not, I guess. Sure. And we can actually get some more ammo for it as well. Because we registered the guest. Majubra. Back uh, as Claire. Um, right, what we like. We're all good for health. Yeah, we need to go upstairs. Now, are there going to be liquors up here? I think so. I'm sure there are liquors up here. Now, the good thing about the SMG is it does stun the enemies. It's got a lot of stun. Oh, yes, I guess there are liquors. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the SMG is just fucking baller. It's so good. Is that? I guess. I guess it was just the one. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we need to go the other way. Again. I've been stupid. It is a thing. It's a thing that I try not to do. I don't try to be stupid on purpose. You have to believe me, guys. It's just something that I've always been good at. Okay. Now, I'm assuming we don't need the crank. I can't remember. I'm hoping we don't need the crank. No, I don't think we do. Because we get the shaft open up. If memory serves. Oh, no liquors here. Really? Huh. They don't really throw much at Leon, do Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess you got Mr. X walking around who could, you could say, is a bit of an ass. Seems to be broken and won't work. Well, that won't do. Ah, what am I doing here? Square hole. 
Oh, right. Hang on. No, you do need the crank. I remember where the crank is. We've got to go back to where Claire was, where Claire's cleared the blockage. God damn it. <sighs> Did I ever tell you guys that I'm kind of rusty when it comes to the B scenario? I guess proof is in the falling. Um, right. I'm ridiculously rusty with this. I don't know why I never actually used to play um, the B scenario much. I'm not sure. I mean, I know when I was really young, I didn't actually know <laughs> about a B scenario. But, you know, I'm not really young anymore. So, I don't really have any excuse. And firing up Resident Evil 2 is always a good time. Apart from when it's not. But it's so rarely not a good time. I don't know why I haven't played B more often, to be honest. Now, we've cleared this place out as well, so we shouldn't have any nasty surprises around here. And of course, Claire's blown this place to pieces. Because, you know, she's a Redfield and wanton destruction is kind of all she knows. Now, ooh. That raccoon there kind of looked like there was ammo on it. Uh, well, I mean, I guess the body's not there, which is curious. And we have that. Chief's Diary, which we just find out what kind of a maniac dick penis he is. Not sure why he's also incriminated himself by leaving his diary there. I mean, I guess he just assumed he wasn't going to survive, which is a fair assumption. Um, now. Right, let's go grab the crank. Then we can finally get out of the police precinct for good. Uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Secretary's Diary B. Yes. Interesting place to leave the crank, Claire. Thanks. Or not really thanks, I should say. That's kind of a bit arse. Gee, I hope Mr. X doesn't, you know, like, crash in and try and fuck us up. Come on, buddy. There we go. You ain't getting to me. You ain't. You really ain't. I don't know why you bother. Who makes your shoes, by the way? Probably our brother. Uh, we will take the magnum bullets. Nice try, fella. Okay. I mean, you can't knock him for trying. He certainly is trying. I mean, the thing that makes the um, fact that the game looks down on you for using the handgun, uh, the submachine gun, even worse, is one of the secrets is extra machine gun ammo. <laughs> It's really shitty that the game punishes you for using it. I think um, just going on saves and time is enough. Maybe if they really want to, they can punish you for using healing items, I guess. I mean, I don't really like that. But I don't like being punished for using equipment that I have, if that makes sense. Like, if you're going to give the player loads of health and loads of ammo and all these cool weapons let the player use them I mean if they're secret hidden unlockable weapons then I guess I could understand but it just seems a bit cheeky to me to um, punish us for using these guns that are already there and viable options I mean where next punish us for killing too many zombies getting bitten too many times why not punish us for using too much ammo. 
It just seems a bit silly. Anywho, we now have the crank. I thought you needed the crank. Feeling really dumb right about now. But hey. That's Resident Evil 2 for you. I guess it makes you feel dumb if you haven't played it for a thousand years. Um, let's go through here. I love the design of this police precinct. It doesn't seem like a very big or good police precinct. Like, for instance, why does it only have two cells? There's only two cells in the entire police precinct. That doesn't seem like uh, it's very adequate for a city the size of uh, Raccoon City. It seems a little bit light, should we say. Uh, yeah, that does actually use the crank up, which is nice. Okay, cool. Now, let's just go plug this bad boy in, and we'll be on our way. There we go. Looks like a switch. Yes, we should push the switch. And there we go, there's the final plug. Yep, we'll take the plug. And I believe an old dust chute. Will we jump down? Yes, Claire obviously can't jump down the dust chute. I don't know why Leon decides that he's going to do that. But then Leon also likes to jump out of windows in Resident Evil 4. So I guess it makes sense. No! no. Get away! Uh. How? How did you get in there? Oh, I love that sound. It's so gribbly. Oof. How did you get in there? I guess we're about to find out. Are you okay, Ben? I heard a bit of noise, so I thought I'd come check on you, buddy. You good? You alright? You had a bit of a mischief? Oh, he's alright. That is fine. Damn. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. Uh, <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police of co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him I like the way Ada's wearing his uh, uh, Sherry's necklace as well. That's quite a cool little detail. Uh, two. All right. So what is this called? Copy of the mail to the chief. Yeah, we, that's nothing new. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Pretty Ada, sure John hey. is a. Fabrication. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to escape. Hmm. Follow us later. <laughs> Claire. Claire. <laughs> wait, wait. Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen? I know, buddy, I know. I like that. Follow us later. A miserable death. Uh, I will follow you, Claire, but how about you tell me where the fuck you're actually going? Follow us later. I almost get the feeling that Claire doesn't want us to follow her. Hmm. And there's nothing in here at all. Right, well, never mind. Let's keep going.
I guess the only thing left to do now is to go through the checkered door. Or the chest door, I should say. Which means running past those spiders again, but fuck those guys. Uh, are both of these smashed open now? Oh, wait, hang on. You've got one there. And one there. I thought there was another herb in there. I thought there was. I thought there was two of these we could search. So there's two jail cells, but there's three dog pens. Hmm. Very strange, this place. And now we've got the pissing spiders to deal with again. Right. Fuck off. Piss off. You're not the boss of me. Oh, God. Wait. We've been poisoned. We're playing Resident Evil 2. And we've been poisoned. What the actual... I can't remember the last time I played Resident Evil 2 and got poisoned. That's actually pretty mental. Um... Well, okay then. Oof. Interesting. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to save it here because we're out of time. Look at the magnum bullets this game throws at us as well. Uh, 24. All right, there we go. Oh, God. What's that, 32 magnum bullets? Bloody hell. And we've got about a thousand ink ribbons as well, wherever they were. There they are. So we might as well use one, because I haven't saved it for the last three, four videos. Which is getting a little bit sketch for me. I mean, I'm not too worried about actually dying. I'm more worried about... Uh... Yeah. No. I'm more worried about uh, <laughs> mechanical failures and things like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, we are going to push on through that chest room door. And, hmm, well, let's just hope there's no horrible bastard waiting for us. Shall we? So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.